Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 27th of January, 2022, of the third week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Angela Marisi. Our Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, you guide me by the light of your saving truth. Fill my heart and mind with your light and truth and free me from the blindness of sin, ignorance, and deception that I may see your ways clearly and understand your will for my life. May I radiate your light and truth to others in word and deed. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Born in Lombardy, Italy, Angela was orphaned as a young girl and joined the Franciscan Tertiaries. In a historical period characterized by frequent wars and the conspicuous consumption of the upper classes, Angela grasped the inherent dignity of young women gathering them into her home for instruction and support. She was invited to Brescia to create a school for girls when Pope Clement VII asked her to lead a group of nuns in Rome. She chose to return to the women of Brescia. The company she founded shortly before her death in 1540 is today known as the Ursulines. Who am I, Lord God, who are the members of my house? A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 18. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house, that you have brought me to this point? Yet even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, Confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 132, verse 1. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the Mighty One of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the Mighty One of Jacob. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. 
Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A lamp is to be placed on a lampstand. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 4 verse 21. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our meditation. Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed? It may sound strange at first, but there's a way that God the Father has placed Jesus in our hands. Think about some of the stories in the Gospels. As a child, he depended on Mary and Joseph. When he fell asleep in a boat during a storm, he entrusted himself to the disciples' sailing expertise. And, most dramatically, he allowed himself to be handed over to the authorities who crucified him. Mark 9.31 in a similar way, Jesus has entrusted the light of his presence into our hands. It's the lamp that he tells us not to hide under a bushel basket. Mark 4.21 Jesus is asking us to accept this lamp gratefully and to let its light shine on everyone around us. He is asking us to do more than warm ourselves in the glow of its flame. He wants us to invite other people to step into its warmth and light. But how can I shine the light of Christ into the world, you may be thinking. I'm just one person, and a fallen person at that. Shouldn't I leave this to people who are better qualified? These are good questions, but in some ways they miss the mark of what Jesus is saying here. All he is asking us to do is not hide his light. In other words, he is asking us to simply live out our faith. This means letting our actions and words reflect the love of God. Simple acts of generosity and humility and compassionate words of forgiveness and encouragement are all we need to begin, and his light will start to shine. If we can do just that, then people will notice, and opportunities to share our faith will arise naturally. That's because the Holy Spirit, who is the fire of God's love, will be working through us. So shine the light of Christ and trust that the Holy Spirit will take care of the rest. It's true. 
that not everyone will receive the light, but that's okay. You don't know God's plan for them. It's not for you to decide who is ready for Jesus and who is not. Just keep living out your faith and rejoice that God has chosen you to be a light in the world. Lord, help me to shine your light today. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.